Good morning YouTube. Got a package today that I've been waiting on. Can't wait to show you. Very excited about it. Sitting out here in my garage today as you can see I already got the car door open ready to install what was uh, I've been waiting for basically. And what came today, I already got it opened up, is diamond floor mats. They're all custom so it should match the orange of the car. Yes my car is orange. Sometimes the camera does make it look a little red. And I've also got this beautiful door seal that has Ethanol Hound, which is my YouTube channel. I wanted to customize it. I've been doing all these engine mods. Everyone asks, uh, or that debate goes, you know, do you just buy a car, or you upgrade it, mod it, you name it. I'm a big fan of modding my car and making it unique to me. So I wanted to do something a little bit different than I have been. Obviously, as you've seen in my other videos, I make ethanol. I sell ethanol. I work for a manufacturing plant that produces the ethanol. I love it, live and breathe it every day. And this beauty right here pretty much guzzles it all day long, every day, whenever I get a chance to drive it. Right now, if I showed you outside, it's snowing here in Wisconsin. But again, so I wanted to name it, put something on it, uh, do something a little bit unique. So we got the ethanol hound. So I'm gonna throw those in and uh, give me a few minutes and we'll see how it looks. Okay, time to rip out the old mat. As you can see in here, can't remember, my uh, Trinity Diablo Sport. I have that wire running down the side here along the dash. That's the wire that's hanging there. Nothing's wrong with the car. I just unplug it so it doesn't drain the battery. If you haven't already and you've learned the hard way, you leave it plugged in, you can drain your battery and then you have a dead battery. Let's take these out, put the seat back. out and obviously you just got the generic floor mat with SRT so it's gonna look a lot different now that I got the nice beauty diamond mats in we're gonna do a quick cut real quick and vacuum our floor okay again now that the floor is all cleaned up as you can see here's my diamond mat on the back it has some uh, adhesive. I'm not gonna peel it yet. I'm just gonna test it out, see how it looks, and then we'll change the adhesive here in a second so it sticks here permanently. So I'm going to give you a little bit better of a view and just so you can see how well it actually tucks in there. So if you are interested in buying one of these from Dean at Diamond Mats, you can see that it uses the original loops. I've got to push this in a little bit further on this one, but again, I'm just putting it in there. And then back here, uh, I just got to push it down and it'll sit there pretty tight, but it is literally gripped right up on the sides perfectly everywhere. So very nice. Okay, so that piece is in. I lied to you, that piece does not have adhesive. It just fits in there so perfect that it doesn't slide. This is the pieces that have adhesive where they're just going into a smaller part, as you can see, and that is going down here. And that's basically where your foot rests. So we will install that. Okay, that piece is now in. And now I got a flashlight so you can see. That sits there right over there in the left hand corner where your foot can rest when you're not on the clutch. As you can see how tight that packs in there. So that way your feet don't slide and there is plenty of grip. If you watch any YouTube on diamond mats, they throw water on it, all kinds of different stuff. 
different kind of shoes and uh, doesn't slip but it definitely gives it that pop it makes it look really nice and again if you can see orange matches orange we look good okay now we're ready to do the back seat Move the car forward. Control my old uh, fishing light back here, so you can see. And this will be very simple. Maxi comes out, beautiful, all plain and simple. Now we're going to make it look beautiful. And because I'm a clean freak, got to vacuum the car. Okay, here's the back. Slide it right in. It should fit right in place. Press it down. And we shall show you what it looks like. Very simple. Quick and easy installation. And there we go. And there is the uh, back floor mat. Looks very nice. Now we'll finish up the rest of the car. Now we're ready to install this. Again, this is gonna go right in this general area. So let me clean it off. And I can kinda line it up right here next to the groove. I don't have it backing off, just wanna see how it's gonna look. So you can see there's a uh, little bevel there. So just come down a little bit and I can measure it here in a second. But it's pretty much gonna go right there and then stick right on. So let's walk away and see how it looks. And uh, pretty much every time I get in my car now, I'm gonna see ethanol helmed. So that's awesome. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Diamond Mats. Love it, it looks great. And then we'll finish up the other side of the car. This really dresses up the inside of my car quite a bit. I don't know about you guys, but the way I'm looking at it, this is amazing. I like it. That should definitely add me another 100 horsepower. Now, in all reality, that just really dresses it up. It looks really nice, minus this little uh, cloth there to wipe stuff down. But uh, very, very happy with how it turned out. Uh, thanks again. Again, they will do custom work for you. Uh, I met him through one of my car forum groups uh, on Facebook, uh, Dean Getchell. Again, um, I'm in a lot of different car groups. I can't remember which exact one. I think it was Challengers of Wisconsin. Uh, but not 100%, but he's all over on a lot of different car forums, but look him up, Diamond Mats. Now we'll get the busy on the other side. Okay, the Ethanol Hound side door seal is on there. I'm going to try to get this light a little bit closer. If you can't see that, it is on there good. Definitely sticks. Definitely has a lot of grip. That is beautiful. Awesome matches really well sorry for the shadow but as you can see it doesn't move at all and it uh will definitely cut a little bit because it's definitely got grip so looks gorgeous here we are again as you can see looks great and for the ultimate test we shut the door make sure it doesn't scrape Beautiful, because I know that'll be one of my comments. Can you still close the door? Now all I'm missing is that Hellcat symbol that lights up underneath, and you can beam it down like I've seen in some of those other cars. Maybe one day, but uh, pretty happy with this until my next mod comes, hopefully next week. Still waiting on that drive shaft, buddies. There is definitely a back order on 4-inch aluminum drive shafts for this Hellcat. A lot of people are going crazy with their Hellcats like I am, so I guess high demand. Now it's time to do the other side. Okay, the diamond floor mat is in on the other side. Sorry for the view. And as you can see, 
it's in. Pretty dark. I need to get one of those bigger, fancier garages one day. And it'll be hard to get to my other side. It's late at night. Baby's already asleep. So I don't have a lot of room. So we shall get there. Okay, the other diamond floor mat is in. We'll take a peek. And yeah, it looks beautiful. Fits in there very tight and snug. Ain't going nowhere. Love it. Back one's in, front one's in, door seals are in. Again, that's the new modification to the car. A little dress up, little naming of my YouTube channel on there. And got the kitty cat up front. Beautiful. If you like this video and uh, want to see some future mods, please like and subscribe. Shoot me some comments. Appreciate. Have a great day. One more quick video of this car with the new mods in it. Got the trunk open for a reason. So you can see in there, you can see the Hell Kitty with the SRT. Look at that. Ethanol Hound. Love it. That looks sharp. Go in the trunk here, show you another surprise. Ethanol Hound. Just kidding, that's the other door seal, but maybe I'll have to put one back here too. Like, subscribe, and comment if you like this. Have a great day.